70 Hans Road? Yes. I'm Mr. Ryan Clark. Yes. 76. It just moved in. It's a pleasure to meet you. My wife gave me the address. She wanted me to meet the neighbors. May I come in? Sure. Special, would you? I do. Excellent. Then that is what I would like. Thank you. Please join me. all the time. It was his favorite. He used to come home with cases of it. He used to give me some every once in a while. Is that so? Yep. I always found it really interesting. I always loved soda, but was never a big fan of coffee or espresso for that matter. <laughs> Yet together, it's the perfect blend. I suppose so. How did you come about this drink? I haven't seen it in years. The local convenience store down the street. They sell it in cases. Marcel's? Yeah. Interesting. Mr. Misty. So, Mr. Clark. May I call you Mr. Clark? Sure. So, Mr. Clark, what do you do for a living? I'm a professional photographer. Interesting. And what do you specialize in? Sometimes I do scenic shots. But mainly right now it's headshots. Actors? Yeah. Models? Sometimes. Do you mind if I smoke? It is your home. Who should please? your studio? Yeah. So you work at home? Yeah. And you have people coming in every day? Yeah. Except Sundays. <laughs> ah, yes. We all need a break sometimes. Oh, wonderful. Married? No. Girlfriend? May I ask why all these questions? We are getting to know each other, are we not? I suppose so. What a fitting drink. How so? You failed to ask me the proper question. When one asks what you do for a living, you answer. And then ask the same of them. I apologize. What is it that you do? I am in the import-export business. I see. Mainly coffee. Cuban? Yes. No worries. You're in good company. That is another of our specialties. 
Man, that's the brand. Monte Cristo, number two. They call it the torpedo. One more time, please. Monte Cristo, number two. Also known as the torpedo. I'm always looking for the next best thing. I should uh, probably be heading home. I have a lot of unpacking to do. But before I go, could I possibly have another glass of that Manhattan Special? Sure. I'm not sure you're aware of the type of business I am in. I know. And what do you know? In the business of import and export. And do you know what having a job like that means? No. It means I'm a very important man. You see, Mr. Clark, I wear many hats. It's hard to pigeonhole me. Many don't know me at all. Do you know who I am, Mr. Clark? No. Of course you don't. The only way you could possibly know about me is if you knew my wife. She's not thrilled with what I do. But it puts food on the table. My job is not easy for others. However, I find it quite simple. Some believe it is of an unspeakable nature. I completely agree, because after all, it's exactly what it is. Nature. Whether or not it's unspeakable lies with the man who is responsible. I take pride in my work. Not because I like it, but simply because I'm good at what I do. Many consider the attribute of our kind is comparable to that of the wolf. We travel together, we work together, we die alone. When it comes to survival, it's every man for himself. There are those that work for pleasure, those that work for vengeance, and those who work because it's what they must do. I tend to embody all three, although vengeance is my variable. May I smoke as well? Please, make yourself comfortable. Keep it in the family. Are you familiar, Mr. Clark? With the wolf and the sheep. story regarding predator versus prey. The sheep is vulnerable, the wolf is strong. But the wolf can't get to the sheep when they're herded and closed in by the shepherd. So the wolf disguises himself as a sheep to infiltrate the herd. He deceives the shepherd, and therefore is free to make his move. Do you understand the moral of that story? Deceit is inevitable. Nature is inevitable. Take into account the nature of a wolf for a moment. It's vicious. This not because of any other reason other than quite simply necessity. Suppose so. Wolves need to eat and sheep need to be eaten. Excuse me, ask. But didn't the shepherd kill the wolf, thinking it was a sheep? <laughs> no. The wolf kills the sheep. So why are you telling me this interesting story? It was entertaining. <laughs> did you not find it entertaining? I did. Well, then that was my purpose. So what are you? What am I? The wolf or the sheep. 
It's an interesting question. Why do you ask? You heard me. A wolf has a keen sense of smell. Certain smells can be detected from yards away. Consider a woman, for example. A beautiful woman whose fragrance is so pungent it could fill a room. And each woman wears it differently. Her unique aroma can tell the wolf exactly who she is. Since you didn't ask my name, I guess it's safe to assume you know exactly who I am. My wife's hiding in this room, isn't she? She's in there, isn't she? I guess that makes me the wolf. I'm the wolf.